These are the boys Loomis Union School District leaders say caused so much damage. We're not showing their faces since investigators believe they're minors, but what's plain to see is the destruction at Loomis's Placer Elementary four days later. Broken windows, bathroom doors taken off their hinges, and a juice vending machine torn to pieces. It's devastating to walk in and see that. Teacher you know, Nicole Miller is one of the lucky ones. Her classroom went untouched during Saturday's barrage, despite the valuables inside. I was really concerned about these because my classroom just got these. She's always felt safe at this school. Losing that sense of security with just two days left is troubling. I feel safe here, you know, so to have something happen where you all of a sudden don't quite feel as safe and the kids don't feel as safe, I'm sure they feel it. Um, it's, it's disappointing. Surveillance photos capture the vandals coming and going in this sedan. Investigators say video not yet released shows them breaking into several rooms. The surveillance video even shows the vandals throwing laptops across the lawn like frisbees. For students and former students, the vandalism is both frustrating and unexpected. It's just not thinking about others and just making bad decisions. District Superintendent Gordon Med believes the suspects are likely former students and says all told they cost the district $10,000. It's very frustrating this time of year to spend the amount of time, energy and pulling our staff in over the holiday weekend to clean up and make sure that school was in good order when the students returned this morning. Deputies now hope to catch the school scoundrels and bring them to justice. In Loomis, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.